caused a war between neighbors, rivaling that of the Klingon Empire and the Federation, which, trust me, was a doozy. What'd you get? An invitation to Billy's birthday party. That's nice. I wonder where Sheldon's is. Hey, Brenda, it's Mary. Oh, hey. So we got Missy's invitation to Billy's party. Great. Hope she can make it. But Sheldon's didn't arrive for some reason. Maybe got lost in the mail? It didn't get lost. What are you saying? I think you know what I'm saying. So Sheldon isn't invited? See? You knew. Bye. Mr. Jeff, are you still looking for a topic for this week's sermon? You mean the one I'm doing in 20 minutes? Sorry, silly question. No. What do you got? I was going to do Noah's Ark, but Sheldon's going to eat me alive. Like those two lions would have done to those two giraffes. Well, I've been thinking about the importance of being neighborly. A Pharisee once asked Jesus what the greatest commandment was. And do you know what he said? Sheldon, it's a rhetorical question. Oh. He said it was to love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And that's what I want to talk about today, being a good neighbor. How do we love our neighbors? We check in on them. We welcome them into our homes. If we're having a party, we invite them. Even Are if they're not the most me? popular. Some of the Romans thought he was a little weird. But if you invite him into your heart, you get to go to the biggest party of all. The one in the sky. Ooh, a party in the sky. Fine. He means heaven. Or a plan. He means heaven. I can't believe you told on me to Pastor Jeff. I have no idea what you're talking about. My neighbor. No matter how funny they look. Hey, Shelly, I got something for you. What is it? An invitation to Billy Sparks' birthday on Saturday. Isn't that nice? Sheldon's gonna go? A child's birthday party? No, thank you. Great. You're going to Billy's party. But I don't want to. And I don't want him to. Too bad. He's going. Then I don't want to go. Everyone's going, and everyone's going to have fun. This is so unfair. It is. You should run away from home. Seems to be a carbon-based life form. Then you know you're doing the I'm interacting. Oh, oh. Oh. Hmm. Gallus Gallus domesticus, otherwise known as Earth Chicken. Live long and prosper, you filthy bird. I thought you didn't like chickens. Sheldon doesn't like chickens. Mr. Spock finds them fascinating. Who's Mr. Spock? I'm Mr. Spock. I'm Billy. What you doing? Using my tricorder to collect data. What's a tricorder? It's a multifunctional handheld device used for scanning and analysis. Cool. And what's everything you just said? Fascinating. Instant sparks. There appears to be a white object under this chicken. It's called an egg. Interesting. What is its function on this planet? People eat them and throw them at me on Halloween. What are you doing out here? Playing with Sheldon. You're missing your party. But I'm having fun. Do not be alarmed. Our mission is one of peace. I'm going to go have a little chat with your mother. Seems unlikely. My mother's on Vulcan. My mom's on Valium. Hope you're happy. Billy's missing his own party because he's playing spaceman in the chicken coop with your son. You were right. I shouldn't have made you invite him. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, good. It's just hard to see him be left out. And I worry it's not going to get better when he grows older. Can't say that Billy is exactly Mr. Popular either. I'm sure this kind of stuff bothers me way more than it bothers Sheldon. Doesn't make it any easier, does it? No. 
I'm gonna take Shelly back home so that Billy can get back to his party. <laughs> you know, they're having fun out there. Gellis, Gellis, domestic has pooped on my uniform! The mission is compromised! Maybe take him home. <laughs>